In this video, I will be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 4.2.1 and iOS 4.2 will work as well. Uh, it is compatible with the iPhone 3G, the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 2nd Gen, the iPod Touch 3rd Gen, the iPod Touch 4th Gen, and the iPad. There's a few things that you want to make sure that you do before jailbreaking. First things first, you always want to back up your iPhone or your, your iDevice through iTunes. The second is you want to make sure if you're already jailbroken and you have Cydia, to open Cydia up and make sure that you save your SH, SH blobs by tapping on Make My Life Easier. Now this only applies if you have the iPhone 4, the iPad, or the newer iPhone 3GS with the newer boot ROM. Now, <clears throat> this is a now keep in mind this is a tethered jailbreak, and a tethered jailbreak means that each time that your device loses battery power or needs to reboot, you must attach it to a PC or Mac to boot into a jailbroken state. Now, the best news of all is if you're an owner of an iPhone 3G or an older iPhone 3GS uh, or a non-MC iPod Touch 2nd Gen, then you could reap the benefits of uh, an untethered 4.2.1 jailbreak with this Red Snow jailbreak. Alright, in order to make this jailbreak successful, there are a few items that you will need. First on the list is iTunes 10.1. Uh, if you haven't updated to iTunes 10.1, you could go to apple.com forward slash iTunes now that you have iTunes 10.1 or newer installed, you're able to update your iDevice to firmware iOS 4.2.1. Uh, you will need iTunes 10.1, it's mandatory, in order to update to iOS 4.2.1. Uh, a, few, a few things that you may want to do first before uh, doing the update. If you currently have a jailbroken device, you want to back up your SHSH blobs through Cydia or Tiny Umbrella. Uh, you can open up Cydia and on the home page there will be a tab if you haven't already done so that that says make my life easier. Just click on that tab and um, it will back up your SHSH blobs. It's very important that you do this uh, especially if you have a newer iDevice like an iPhone 4, an iPad, also, if you currently have iOS 4.2, this jailbreak will work for those devices as well. Now that you have the proper firmware installed on your iDevice and you've updated to either iOS 4.2 or 4.2.1, keep iTunes running. You need to have iTunes open and running in order to perform this jailbreak. So I'm just going to minimize iTunes here. Uh, a few more items that you will need. What you're doing don't perform this jailbreak just yet watch the rest of the video if you're comfortable with the jailbreak and you like what you hear then perform the jailbreak before we get started with the jailbreak uh, Windows 7 users uh, you will have to use Red Snow in XP compatibility mode that's for Windows 7 users all right Make sure that you have iTunes running and open, as you can see here. Make sure that you have your iDevice connected to your computer. And when you have both of those checked off, go ahead and click on Red Snow. Now, when we open up Red Snow, it's automatically going to close iTunes for us, as you can see there. All right, now we're going to tap, click on Browse. And we're going to browse for that firmware that we downloaded earlier in that folder that you saved it in and it recognized it successful identified once the IPSW file is identified click next and allow the kernel to be patched and then we're going to click next Okay, now you're going to see options here. Uh, if you have an iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS with the new boot ROM, 
and the iPad. You're going to have these four options here. Uh, some of the other devices are going to have additional options uh, that will allow you to have like uh, background wallpaper and multitask. What I highly recommend is do not click on multitask because it's going to slow down your device and it, and it has a lot of bugs. All right, so do not click on that. I would just go ahead and click on Install City for now and click on Next. All right, now it wants you to turn off your iDevice. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to get our iPhone and we're going to hold down the power button for three seconds and we're going to slide the power off. All right. Now that your iDevice is completely turned off, you're going to click on Next and you're going to follow the on-screen prompts. Hold the power button for three seconds. One, two, three. Hold the home and power button for ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the power button. Continue to hold the home button. until you start seeing this on the screen. And as you can see here, it's uploading the RAM disk on the iPhone. And you're going to see the command lines flashing on your iPhone screen or your iPad screen or even your iPod touch screen. Done installing the bundles and it's rebooting your device. All right, then we're going to slide to unlock. Now you won't see City immediately, it's going to be on the second page. Now, before we go any further, you'll notice it won't open and it's a white icon. And I'm going to explain why. This is an iPhone 4 and with the red snow jailbreak it's considered tethered jailbreak now the notion of tethered jailbreak is pretty new to many people so here's a quick rundown on what to expect if you're on an iPod or iPhone 3G old boot ROM iPhone 3GS or non-MC iPod touch second gen life is easy red snow installed and you'll have an untethered jailbreak so nothing that I'm about to tell you will apply to you. So if you have these devices, disregard the message that I'm about to say. For those that don't have these three devices, uh, listen, to the, listen to what I'm about to tell you. Tethered does not mean that you cannot boot at all without a PC or Mac assistance. If you have not installed any tweaks that hook into important programs like Springboard or Com Center, your device will actually boot. However, jailbreak programs like Cydia, as you can see, uh, will not open, and Cydia will still have a white icon. Also, certain uh, built-in apps that had to be uh, moved by Cydia will fail, such as Safari, as you can see here. It'll just crash every time you open it. Uh, <clears throat> if you installed mobile substrate tweaks that hook into the springboard or other important programs, your boot will actually fail. You'll get stuck at the Apple logo. So you need to use Red Snow and you need to use Just Boot Tethered right now. And I'm about to show you how you do that. We're going to put the device down, make sure that you're still connected. Okay, now that we have iTunes open, make sure that iTunes recognizes your device. We're waiting for iTunes. There it is. The device is recognized. And just go ahead and you can move iTunes to the side here. And we're going to have to proceed with the same steps that we did. The only difference here now is... Um, 
about to show you is you don't need to do the jailbreak. Okay, once you get this message here, go ahead and click next. And by doing this, okay, you want to uncheck install Cydia. And what you want to do is check just boot tethered now. That's the only thing that you want. Now click next. Now you need to turn off your device. So we're going to turn off the device. Slide up. Power down. Make sure that it's completely turned off. Alright, so now our iDevice is turned off. Just like with the jailbreak, we're going to continue with the same process of putting our iDevice in DFU mode by holding the power button for 3 seconds, holding the home end power for 10 seconds, and then holding the home button while releasing the power button for the additional seconds. So go ahead and click on next and follow the on-screen com um, command prompts. Hold the power button, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the power button. Continue to hold the home button. And as you can see here, it's uh, rebooting our device, waiting for a reboot. And now you see the pineapple instead of the apple. Now you're, jail, you're uh, booting up in the jailbroken state. And if you have, if the tether jailbreak applies to you, then you're going to need to use this method anytime that your battery dies or you have to reboot your device, you're gonna have to use this method. Otherwise, City will not work Safari will not work. And let's check Safari. Yep, Safari works now. City is icon. And City works. If you like my video and you felt like I did a thorough job, please give me thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And uh, if you need, now that you have a jailbroken device uh, and you have Cydia, you probably need some uh, good content for your uh, iDevice uh, as far as like Cydia repo sources. So you can come to our website here, ifortnaforum.com. And as you can see here, we have over 145,000 members. You can check out some of our applications like the Big U application and the Media Hub application. And uh, what you want to do is you want to register. It's free to register an account. And when you log in, uh, go into the forum. And we have many topics that you could look into. Um, you could even go to the Cydia. And go to the first one. And we have a complete Cydia repo list. So if you click on that link right there, this will give you all the Cydia sources that you'll ever need to get all those applications, custom themes, and everything. So come to iFortnaforum.com and uh, get all these sources. And you'll enter these sources in the Cydia, and it will give you, it'll open up a whole new world for you. Stay tuned to my next video. I appreciate you watching.